Hello everyone and welcome to the Saturday Morning Crafts hosted by Betty and Markeisha. Betty is um, Scrap Passion 01 and Markeisha is Sweet Papery Treasures. So thank you so much for inviting me and everyone I suggest you subscribe to everyone because um, maybe not this first video, but there will eventually be giveaways and as for my for my channel I am going to randomly pick a winner. I am not going to say what video it is So it's best that you just comment on um, All of our videos and so we will be doing this um, the second Saturday of every month until the end of the year and what we want to do is use our dies. We love our dies. I know I do. I love buying them and I love creating with them. And what better way for all of us to join together and hope to be able to inspire all of you to use your dies. Use what you already have. Um, so here are the dies that I used. I used um, these black ones that are a metal sheet are from diamond dies these are the tags nesting die this is the bow and then this is the word set um, and then I also used these two from cottage cuts which is the build a bow and the typewriter for the typewriter I actually have a tutorial that I'm going to insert in this video so what I've made are some tags so let me move this out of the way and show you the tags all right, so here are my tags, you guys, and I went with the Maggie Holmes inspired. Um, I used her paper collections, which I have two of them, which is Bloom, and the other one is called, oh, I don't know what it's called, but I got them from Tuesday morning. So I actually, what I did was I went on Pinterest and I searched for Maggie Holmes tags, and I saw a tag that had like this fringe and I don't have, I don't know if it's like a border that she sells, but this right here is a cupcake liner. It's gold cupcake liner and I just cut off the center of it and then I just layered it on top of this um, crepe paper, which this one, I just layered two of them. I folded it in half and so it came out to two two layers then I use my French scissors by Martha Stewart which is these right here and I whoops and I just cut and then I just um, cut around you know the shape of the tag and then I layered this one and then of course you can see right here um, the star of my tags is of course the typewriter because they are so cute and here is the word die from diamond dies all of the tags you can see I use two different sizes from Diamond Dice. This is the tags. And then behind there are is a a piece of doily. And then all of these flowers that you see in each of the tags are um, they are cut files from the Silhouette Studio. And anybody can purchase those. You don't have to have a machine. Um, but of course if you do it's it's nice because then I use I I what I did was I printed all of them out and then I used my brother's scanning cut to cut around it and then this one I saw another tag that had like this really pretty um, like crepe paper but it was and it was like pleated but it was done with a sewing machine I do not have a actually I do have a sewing machine I just don't know how to use it so I did it with hot glue and then in the center I layered it with um, with that gold leaf from Hobby Lobby. And then these are just chipboard stickers also from Maggie Holmes. There is the diamond eyes bow. That heart is also from, um, it's a chipboard sticker and here is another silhouette cut file. And then here's another one so cute I just love this typewriter and this is the tutorial um, I actually made this one right here I think it was um, when I made uh, my tutorial and I will add it somewhere I will let you know so here is another doily behind there it's a white one more flowers um, this is another bow this is diamond eyes 
I thought I used two of the of the cottage cuts I guess I only used the one bow and this is probably my favorite and it's because I love this pleated trim this trim is from Hobby Lobby and then in the center of it I added more of that gold leaf trim there's a typewriter that one says sweet that one that word sweet is from um, from the die set and then here is another flower and oh my gosh you guys I love the way they came out so I not only did I use my dies but I also ended up using my die cutting machine and what I mean by die cutting machine is my silhouette, not my silhouette, my scanning cut. So here are all the flowers that I made with um, the silhouette files that I have. I just want to share them with you because they're so pretty. And what's nice about it is that you can um, make them as big or as small as you want. As you can see, these are the two. These are the same, but of course I made this one larger. So you can see the difference right there. So that's really nice. It gives you, you know, you have that option when you do anything in digital form. You can resize it. So this is what I decided to do for um, this episode of Saturday Morning Crafts. I hope you watch all of the other ladies' videos. And I will have all of their links in the description box so you can... Um, Go to their channels, subscribe, and check out their videos. Now that I've shared my tags, I'd like to share with you the tutorial. Hope you enjoy. All right, and now a tutorial on how I've made these typewriters. And this typewriter is by Cottage Cuts, like I've mentioned before. And it is really easy to put together. Here is what the die looks like. So all of the pieces are all in one die. And I just wanted to show you what they look like. Look how pretty that is. That is just so beautiful. They are so fun. Look at that, you guys. And I know I've shown these before. So here are my pieces all cut out. For this one, which is this bigger piece right here, I like to cut this out twice because this is the base. So, um, so I'll cut this out in white cardstock and then in my pattern. Um, cardstock which is this one I'm going to use this one and then so this is what it looks like it's this this piece right here is the top of the typewriter right there that's a piece of paper this is the keyboard this is like the front piece of the keyboard this was go this is what goes underneath the keyboard and that is this piece right here these I like to cut them in gold or in like a solid color and this is what holds your paper and this is just like I don't even know what that is I mean I've seen them on typewriters before but but yeah and that's that little piece right there and then you have the option of course of adding the word sweet or not um, so let me show you what that looks like with and without with and without and then it also cuts a tiny, tiny little heart. It cuts out that bigger heart and then cuts out that tiny little heart. And I just placed it on there. Look at that, you guys. It's tiny. Okay, so now on to how you assemble this. So I'm going to start off, um, of course, with this piece. Like I said, I cut two of these, my pattern paper. So I'm going to adhere this onto this. And the glue I'm going to use is is this art glitter glue and that's because I have that fine tip so I'm just going to adhere this onto here onto my base and then I'm going to adhere this piece which is the keyboard onto the background of the keyboard and I chose white. I could have chosen another color. Let me show you what it would look like in another color. You know what? I'm going to do this darker pink. So I'm going to add some adhesive just to the edge. And the good thing is that this dries clear. Then the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to 
adhere this which is going to be right there and I'm going to add glue to the back of this and let me show you where I add my glue just there and right there and then I get my paper turn it over and I try to center it as best as I can and that's what that looks like okay and then on top of this paper which is a typewriter paper that's where I'm going to adhere this piece Okay, now for this keyboard right here, what I like to do is I like to use some foam tape um, just so it can stand out a lot, a bit more. Like you, I use, I did that with all of them, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this one. And my typewriter is almost done. Now all I have left to do is add a word so this right here is from diamond dice and this one says hello so i'm going to add that one and i wish i would have had a cut in this in a different color but it's okay and there you have it and that is how you assemble the typewriter all right everyone so this is the end of the video just wanted to come back and say thank you so much for watching i hope this has inspired you to make your own tags and if it has please let me know or um, send me a link to what you have made thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day bye